In this video, we will discuss nouns. We'll discuss countable nouns, non-countable nouns, nouns that are only plural and irregular nouns. If you were to look up the word noun in a dictionary, you would find the following definition. In Dutch, we call them zelfstandig naamwoorden. There is a standard rule when it comes to changing a singular countable noun into a plural noun. This rule is to add an S to the noun. This means that you would have one tree, but two trees, or one brother, but two brothers, or one television, but two televisions. However, English would not be English if there weren't any variations in spelling when making a noun plural. If a noun ends in a hissing sound, we add ES to the noun. So you would say one bus, but two buses. Note that the S in buses doesn't double, a commonly made mistake. You would talk about one fox, but two foxes also with ES added. Nouns that end with an O also take an added ES to the noun. One hero, for example, would become two heroes when made plural. The same goes for potato or tomato, which become potatoes and tomatoes. If a noun ends in an F or FE, it changes into VES. Take the word knife, for example. You would have one knife, but two knives. The same goes for wife. You would have one wife, but two wives with VES. If you need to make a noun ending in a Y plural, the Y changes into IES. Baby becomes babies and hobby becomes hobbies, both with IES. Note that this is different than in Dutch, where we would use an apostrophe. This is not the case in English, another commonly made mistake. Besides countable nouns that take the standard rule plus its variations, there are also non-countable nouns. Coffee, sugar and rice, for example, are nouns that cannot be counted. It is not possible to say one coffee, two coffees, three coffees. If you do so, you don't refer to the coffee, the substance, but to coffees, the cups. You can't say one rice, two rices, three rices either. In order to make these non-countable nouns plural, you will need an extra word. One cup of coffee and two cups of coffee. One spoon of sugar and two spoons of sugar. One grain of rice and two grains of rice. Some words only take a plural form. An example of these are words that refer to objects consisting of two equal parts. Think of trousers, jeans, glasses, and scissors. In order to indicate whether we use the singular or plural form, we add the words a pair of or pairs of. One pair of glasses, but two pairs of glasses. One pair of scissors, but two pairs of scissors. Other words that only take a plural form are certain words that refer to a group of people. Examples are the police and the government. And keep in mind that these nouns don't also take plural verbs, as in the following sentence. The police are certain they have caught the killer. Last but not least, there are also some irregular nouns. These regularly used ones should be studied by heart. Man becomes men, woman becomes women, child becomes children, mouse becomes mice, food becomes feet, goose becomes geese, and tooth becomes teeth. Put these rules into practice and check whether you have understood all of this. If not, watch the video again and keep practicing.